Well, here we are, the first week in February, 2021, and it's been one heck of a first month. We had the rush on the uh, Capitol building, saw there laying the policeman uh, in the rotunda for his funeral. That's a sad, sad thing. Then we had the, the stock market, or, or Joe Biden uh, um, inaugurated and took office. He's pledged to put another $1.9 billion into the market, just shy of another trillion. Uh, interest rates are staying down. And then we had the uh, GameStop fiasco, and that's run up, run down. And I'm sorry, but it's time to sell. It's time for me. I looked at my portfolio and it's time to sell. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Then maybe it'll help you decide what you're going to do. And we'll move forward on this. Boy, it's been one hell of a month. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, as I said, I'm up something like 15% thus far this year uh, on pace to <laughs> basically double my portfolio over the next year if it continues at this place. Uh, I'm managing a, about a million dollar portfolio and I told Nita today uh, if it keeps going like this, we're going to have we're going to have two million dollars in that portfolio um, by this time next year. We might have to buy a house at the beach. So um, then I looked at it and I said, there are some of the stocks that I'm holding that aren't meeting my expectations. That most of them are. Most of them are, and, and I honestly believe they will continue to. I'm going to stay with my, my big six. If you don't know what the big six is, it's uh, the big nine, basically, um, minus the China stocks and IBM. I don't like IBM. They don't have an identity anymore. Uh, and then I add to that uh, Tesla. So I'm going to hang on to those. They're the, they're, they represent, I think it's about 66% of my portfolio. And then I have 10% uh, of my portfolio in what I call my exponential growth stocks. And most of them are doing well, but there are four of them that I've bought that I'm, I'm going to get rid of. Uh, and, I, and I encourage you to do this in your portfolio. Look at anything that isn't meeting your expectations. Ask yourself, why isn't it meeting my expectations? And uh, if, if you can come up with a re good reason why it isn't, and I'll go through my four and share my thoughts, um, then get rid of them and free up that money for better opportunities and continue to do your research, continue work to work with the tribe. Here at Best of Us Investors, we have 15,000 people who suggest to each other what, what looks good, what doesn't. Uh, we have a group of people then that does some uh, research and shares their thoughts. And, uh, and then we encourage you to do your research and we're helping you find some, some good avenues to do some research on that. The first one I'm going to get rid of is Gene, G-E-N-E. -E. It was just a, a, a cheap stock that I bought. I only put uh, 300 and some $400 into it. So I'm going to sell it. It isn't meeting my expectations. It isn't showing me any belief or building my belief it's got anything uh, to go with, with it. The next one is uh, Infineon and that's I-F-N-N-Y. Uh, got about $16,000 into that and I, I basically I bought it because I realized it made a special chip that was uh, specific for uh, the EV market. And I thought they, they've got a good handle on something. There's going to be a lot of people needing it. And then I realized that Tesla is making its own chip and, um, and a lot of people are making their own chips. And, uh, it, and, and then the real, what is it, 5% of the cars on the, on the uh, highways now are um, EV. So its real potential for moving product is probably three to five years out. And I'd like to have that, that money 
uh, put somewhere else where I can make it grow, whether it be adding to some of the stocks I have or um, finding something else that is better. Uh, and then LASER, L-A-Z-R, about $10,000 there. Same scenario. Um, they make the, um, the, the laser type devices that go on EV cars and, and they will probably be a good company somewhere in the future, but their, their, their best days are far in front of them. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then UPS. I bought UPS basically when I saw that they and uh, FedEx were going to be delivering all of the uh, vaccines um, around that, that we were buying. And then they also, um, when Dr. Fauci got on and said, uh, don't go into the shopping malls, buy online, I thought, well, they're going to have a, a, a surge in profits. Uh, and they, they declared their profits um, yesterday, and the stock is up a bit, but I'm still just about even. As I say, I got about 10000 there. So that's going to raise about $36,000 that I just think I can put to better use. Do I believe there's going to be a crash in the market? Not within the foreseeable future. Um, I believe that the, the innovation that is coming is still coming strong. The disruption is still coming strong. I believe that the coronavirus is the catalyst of a lot more innovation, particularly in the, the fields of 3D printing and robotics as we rebuild our supply chain. Uh, also in um, biotech as we make sure that a pandemic never happens again. So I, I see that as a growth area. And then, of course, the, the EV market. But again, the, the auxiliary uh, or the supply chain for the EV market is in the future. And I'm not willing to wait. So that's why I'm, I'm getting out of two of those. And then UPS. UPS is UPS. Uh, it doesn't fit my my four areas of, that I wish to invest in. So I'll find something there. Where, where, where will I put that $36,000? It will basically be in my exponential growth portfolio. Um, as far as the big six and Tesla, I'm going to, in my other portfolios that are, I do not manage on um, on YouTube, I, that's where I will add to those holdings. I believe that if if I'm going to pass on 24 million like I want to, that's where a lot of it's going to, to be. It's not going to be in the exponential growth. It's going to be in the steady growth of the best companies in the world. And that's what? Apple, Google, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, and um, who am I leaving out? Uh, Facebook. Um, and I think I said Amazon. So those are the th those are the the mainstays. They are the they are the best companies in the world, and I'm proud to say I'm an owner of them. Uh, I will go to my Discord, and I will get emails from members of my tribe, and they'll tell me where to put this thirty six thousand, and I'll do the research. I'll use. Uh, I, I'm doing an interview, in fact, uh, tomorrow morning with uh, David Jackson, the CEO of um, Seeking Alpha, and he's going to teach me how to use his um, platform to do better research. This is the guy who founded the company, so uh, I'm going to have a, a first-hand lesson. I'll share that video in our university, um, and it's going to be available free to anybody who is part of our tribe. And if you want to get access to that video, you'll go to bestofusinvestors.com and leave me your email address and, and your name. And then I'll send you a link to the Discord. And then if you're part of the premium channel, <coughs> which uh, we have there, you'll get access to that video. And, um, and you'll learn how to use it and use it effectively. And he, he has promised me he'll come back and, and do follow-up interviews as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm selling. I'm selling tomorrow. 
Um, um, not a lot, 36,000 out of a million, ain't that much, but uh, I, I want to manage my portfolio effectively and take advantage of every opportunity. Heck, I, I could turn that 36,000 into 360,000 if I just picked the one right stock. So that's what I'm doing. That's what Best of Us Investors is all about. I invite you to come and join the tribe, share in our our, our pursuit of our three goals. One, make good, sound investment decisions. Two, keep more of what we make by understanding our tax code. And three, build family wealth and pass it on to our heirs. Our goal, eh, the government will get let us pass 24 million on estate tax free. So why not do it? Okay, that's what we'll do. All right, talk to you again tomorrow.